Hello guys, thank you all for stopping by the channel today and welcome back to this brand new video. In today's video I am going to be showing you how to obtain all of the badges for your male or your female character. These are very easy glitches to do, so we have like the paramedics badge, IAA, the Richard Majestic's crew members badge, as well as the IAA one, and also the new police badge. So I'm going to show you how to get these. Now I'm going to start off by showing you how to get the FIP badge and that is using a mission from the Diamond Casino Heist. Now you make to, need to make sure that you have set your approach and then you will unlock this second board. You need to select your vehicles and your weapons and if you select the hacker you should unlock this mission which is the hacking device. Now make sure that you before you start up this mission that you have the outfit saved where you want your FIB badge on. Now if you load up the mission you should load in with a suit. If you do not load in with a suit make sure that you go to story mode then just go back online and restart the mission. You need to load in with the suit in order to get this to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your personal vehicle just make your way over to the emanation. Then you just want to go over to this section right here and just apply the outfit where you want your FIB badge on. Next you want to just follow the mission, so you just need to make your way over to the scene where you can actually grab the FIB badge. Now as soon as you have played the mission up to that part, you should get this green icon. You need to just make your way over to that agent and grab the security pass. As you can see, it will then be applied to your outfits. Next, we're just going to go back over to the same ammunition. You can just go ahead and save your outfit by pressing square. And after that, I suggest you to apply a pair of gloves or any accessory and just resave it to make sure that it has sticked to your outfits. Then you can just go over to story mode and return back online. And there you go. You should now have the FIB badge. You can just replay the mission and put them onto different saved outfits. Now let's move over to the next batch. For the next one, I'm going to show you how to get the IA batch for both your male and your female character. For that, you need to go over to the Rockstar Created Missions. From here, go to the ULP Intelligence Mission and just go ahead and load it up. Now you can do this solo. You can also do this with a friend if he or she wants to get the badge as well. Next you want to hit play and you're going to be selecting the outfit with the badge on it that you like. And you want to hit ready to play. As soon as we are in the mission, make sure that you open up your interaction menu. You want to go over to appearance. Then go to illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 20 seconds. After doing this, you want to go AFK for about 15 minutes. So just put your controller down and just wait 15 minutes. And after that, you should get kicked out of the game with this error message. Just go ahead and accept the message. You will go over to a new public session. You should load in with the IA badge outfits. You can just go over to the clothing store and save your badge. And that will be all for the IA badge. Next, I'm going to show you how to get the paramedics badge, which is on a chest area. For that, you need to bookmark a modded job. This job has been made by FMAL, and I also used this job in a different video before. So you need to make sure that you bookmark this job, which is for PlayStation only. I will leave that link in the description box down below. When you click the link, you need to sign in to your social club account. Then you need to click on the bottom left corner on this little icon right here in order to bookmark it. And that is how easy it is. Now, as soon as you have that, go ahead and load up the mission underneath the bookmarked last team standing missions. Just go ahead and invite a friend who can help you out and then just load it up. Make sure that you do host this mission in order to get the paramedics patch. Now on the screen right here, you want to hit ready to play and after a couple of seconds, you should spawn in a mission with the paramedics badge outfit. 
Now all that you have to do is go to your interaction menu, go to appearance accessories and just apply a different pair of gloves and then just quit the job through your phone. Now, as soon as you're back, you can just swap it back over to the blue surgical gloves, save your outfits and you can also, as I'm going to show you right here, go over to the top section and you can put on a different tops and the badge should stick to that top. Now we're going to move over to the police badge, which is not actually a glitch, but you need to unlock this outfit through the career progress, which is part of the bill office. So I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to get this badge. Go over to your pause menu, go over to career, go to like career progress. Then go over to businesses and then click a bottom dollar bounties. Then you have tier number three right here and it should tell you what you need to do. So you need to secure or eliminate 10 bounty targets without losing a life. Secure or eliminate a most wanted bounty target three days in a row. And then you need to secure or eliminate 25 bounty targets in total. Now, If you have completed this, you can claim this outfit right here. And that is basically how you get it. Now, for the last outfit, we have the um, Richard Majestic's crew badge. Now, because the bounty or like the most wanted bounty changes daily, I was not able to record it. So, but I do have a different in-depth tutorial on how to get this. So I will go ahead and leave that in the description box down below. It is basically the first video that I made about this. I was also actually the founder of this. So go ahead and check that out if you want to obtain the Richard Majestic's crew badge. And that will be all for today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then of course, I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone.